Hello, welcome back. Next installment of Mindset, the 12 steps that I took to really shift my mindset and then I'll continue to take to shift my mindset. Um, and knowing that, you know, you become your thoughts, your behaviors reflect your thoughts. So powerful. Oh my goodness. So, you know, we've talked about books. That was the first step for me to shifting my mindset. Then experiences, you know, experiencing those things that I really love to experience and, and realizing that I don't have to wait and do it next year or two years from now. I can do it today. And realizing that, wow, the more, more of these experiences I can have, the more fulfilling my life will be. So it just sparked me to, instead of thinking about sacrifice, I thought about abundance and I thought about enjoying more of those experiences, right? So powerful in my mindset as that started to shift. Then the third thing that we covered was loving yourself. I had to love myself. You have to love yourself. You have to have that love of yourself. And again, not the arrogance, not the conceitedness. This is loving yourself, meaning God created you and God doesn't screw anything up. So love that just where you are right now, your circumstances, um, all the purpose areas in your life, love yourself, appreciate who you are right now. And if you can get into that space, right, the more love you have for yourself, the more love you can give to others, the more others can love you back. It's all about love, right? When it's all said and done, that's God is love and, you know, life transformed love places and spaces all around the world. It's about love. That's what it's all about. All right. Number four is up level. Last time we talked about up leveling the people in your life. You're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. I know we've all heard that, but it's true. So it, it can be sobering um, to realize that, but you can't be in denial about that either. Some people need to fall out of your life. Maybe you need to fall out of some other people's lives. Who knows? But we're just focusing on us up-leveling now. So that's what we talked about last time was up-leveling. And now the next thing that was really amazing for me was a community. So I started up-leveling amongst friends and acquaintances. And that allowed me to meet an amazing person in my life who brought me to a community of people. In my case, it was a network marketing company, um, which I am so grateful for because I got to meet like some top level speakers and trainers and mentors um, and read amazing books and be exposed to wisdom that I never would have been exposed to if it wasn't for this community of people. And the cool thing about that particular community, which I'm still a part of today, um, is, is it's a community of people who are seeking more, more personal growth, more um, abundance in their lives. And they were surrounded, we, I was surrounded by people with that mindset of, yes, you can, you can do this. It isn't out of reach, right? And, you know, again, and I'm saying it doesn't have to be a network marketing community, a community of people who are, you know, seeking more, who uh, believe in themselves, who are growth oriented. That's really what it's all about. It's getting out of the, I mean, you know, I've, I've been a football fan my whole life and, you know, I can get in a community of other football fans who can talk about the game and watch the game. And, but is that really growing me? No, it's not growing me. It's entertaining and I can have fun and enjoy, but that's not what I'm talking about with a community. I'm talking about a community of people who are looking to expand and grow and go beyond where they are. Just so happens, I think those communities, those network marketing communities are wonderful for that. So if you go into it with a mind, the right mindset, not like I want to make money, 
you know, if you just go into something like that wanting to make money, you're, it's not going to be a good proposition for you. But if you go into it with that mindset of, I want to change my mindset, I want to be surrounded, I want to get into a community of people who are thinking differently, who are positive, who have self-confidence and self-esteem and want to do more and know that they're, they've got more in them, then for me, that was a great mindset shifter. Because you see somebody up on stage and you hear their story, you're like, dang, that's my story. If they can do it, I can do it. That shifts your mindset, shifted my mindset. It's why I'm here, one of the big reasons I'm here today and why you know, I got out of the wine business and started Life Transformed is because of somebody I heard on stage who had gone through the same things that I did. And I realized at that moment, I need to get out of the wine industry and do what I'm doing today. All right, so that was the next one. Join us the next time because we've got another secret to shifting your mindset.